CS2 just got one of the biggest updates that had so many things that the community has been asking for for a long time and if you're just waking up you might have missed all of the patch notes and all of the posts on Twitter so I want to make this video to recap everything that's been added in the newest update and we'll get right into that right after a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a site where you can trade skins that you already have to get some skins that you might want. That way you can hop into your next game with some fresh new skins. All you have to do is log into the site through Steam, put in the skins that you don't want anymore, grab the skins that you do and then click trade. Trades happen almost immediately and any balance that you don't use in the trade will roll over for a trade that you might do in the future. Right now you can get a free $5 if you were to use code Austin on the site and if you were to use my code you would get an additional 5% on top of the 30% deposit bonus. So let's say if you deposit $100 that means you would get $135 if you use my code to deposit. So make sure you guys check out Skins Funky and let's get right back into the video. Starting with probably the change that everybody is most excited for which is the fact that left handed is now back in the game. Now there is one thing that is a little bit weird about this which is that whenever you toggle your hands with the new added console command switch hands it's super easy you will notice that you have to re-pull out your gun and I think that that might be to counter the fact that now whenever you're on left-handed side your bullets will come out of the left side of your screen so if you're spamming a smoke you could maybe have some potential weirdness if you were to switch back and forth with the way that the tracers work so this is definitely a really good change but I think the community overall is very happy to see that left hand has made a return into CS2 so you can try it out in your next game but one of the things that also you might not have known is that in this update not only can you switch to left-handed but you can actually see all of your teammates if they're on left or right hand and actually you can see their entire view model i played a few games of premiere when the update came out and i noticed that i could see my teammates view model and i think that this is a very cool change one thing that i would actually suggest adding in the future of Valve is maybe an option to just copy view model if we see somebody that's using something cool that we might want to try out maybe we can see that in the future now one of the things that a lot of people have wanted to see added to the game is a working anti-cheat and I can't say if evac has been updated for sure or not but what I can say is that overwatch has been reintroduced in this update now unfortunately I don't have access to overwatch at this moment but I'm assuming that it works the exact same way that it did in CSGO, meaning that you can review cases once you become trusted. I'm not sure how Valve deems trusted players, but once you become trusted, you can do Overwatch just like you did in CSGO. And of course, you can have the power to ban cheaters if you review cases. And I think this is a really good change because it's no secret that spin botters have been running rampant in Premiere. And I think that, you know, having Overwatch to kind of take care of the spin botters will make it a little bit more playable of an experience. And I'm excited to see that going then of course we have to get to the map pool change because there actually was a significant change in the map pool if you're not familiar the map pool of course is the seven maps that the pros play or the seven maps that you can play in premiere and for some reason in this update the map that valve chose to remove was overpass so you will no longer be able to play overpass in premiere and the pros will no longer be playing overpass in any of the tournaments that they're going to play in except they will finish esl pro league on overpass more than likely and the map that is coming in to replace it is it a new map is it exciting could it be possibly tuscan unfortunately no valve has reintroduced dust 2 into the competitive map pool which I have my opinions about I'm not gonna lie it's not the most exciting map in the world but it is something new and of course we haven't seen how it plays with the new CS2 smoke mechanics and molly mechanics so it could be interesting at least in the beginning so of course in the next time I release something related to teaching grenades I will be covering dust too and I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited to see that then on top of that there was a bunch of other changes that I haven't even covered yet inferno got a little bit of a rework so as you guys know the main complaint that pros and also casual players had with inferno was that it was very very difficult to throw basic smokes like an arch smoke a moto smoke even and so of course valve have addressed this by removing some of the overhangs on the map now as you can see here we are missing the arch that used to be over top mid of, of sorry of uh, inferno and then also the bottom part of banana i have shown you a couple of screenshots of the before and after obviously this is so much better because now you can throw nades and it just it just looks a lot better as well to be completely honest there's also a small little detail that this pot on b site was actually removed because of course Norbert got stuck on this pot during the major and I did actually tweet that clip the other day I thought it was kind of funny but they broke the pot and I'm sure that Norbert wanted to break the pot when it happened so it's funny that they did that I'm glad they did that it was a good change and speaking of good changes they made another significant buff to the Zeus because now the Zeus gives you a kill reward previously if you ever Zeus somebody and made them go ah 
then what would happen is, is you would get zero dollars as a kill reward and of course that was because the gun was well to only two hundred dollars it's a taser actually but now you get a hundred dollars so if you get a zeus kill it could give you a little bit back if you get two you get a return on investment that's not bad and also they increase the movement speed while holding the zeus so of course now you're a little bit faster i think that i read somewhere that it's the same speed as when you have the glock out while you're running so that'll be nice if you ever want to run around and zeus somebody i'm really happy with the direction that valve is take in the zeus and cs2 because to be honest before it was a bit of a meme but now it's actually viable and i think that that is a very good place for it to be another cool thing that they did was they added a new kill feed icon now if you've played cs before you will already know that if you get a kill while let's say through a smoke no scope maybe full blind it'll show that little icon in the kill feed and they added a new one for kills that you get mid-air and of course if you get the kill you'll have this new wing icon next to the gun or next to all of the stuff so that way you can kind of see what happens and yes i did test it here's a full blind opping no scope through the smoke while you know jumping of course and i think that that's pretty cool i missed the wall bang on that one but no worries following that up we have a couple of other smaller changes that might not be as important and of course one of the biggest changes that i saw right away was that they actually added a grenade crosshair now some of you guys might have already had these because you could toggle them on and off if you made custom ones but valve have introduced this into counter-strike by default so now if you hold a nade out for more than two seconds you'll get this big crosshair on your screen that will help you line it up i can see this being useful in all sorts of different ways but you can use it as you need and it's really easy to find under the settings just go to the new tab and you can kind of play with this the sliders there and adjust it as you see fit very good change in my opinion i like the direction that valve is taking things to be honest it's a little bit nicer now because you don't have to have a bunch of random binds set up in a config to do these cool things like you used to in csgo and now the average player can do it and i really think that that's for the best and another sneaky thing that they added was actually the ability to toggle your radar zoom. Now, for those of you guys that like to watch my streams, of course, at twitch.tv slash austincs underscore, you might have already known that I had a radar toggle bind before, but now they've just added it in the game as a setting. So, of course, what this does is you can tweak it as you want, but basically, whenever you press a button, you basically zoom in and out of your radar however you want it to be so that's a cool change i like to zoom in the radar when i'm in clutches and zoom out of course at the beginning of the round you can use it however you want though maybe you won't use it at all but me personally i really like this command and i like the fact now that i don't have to memorize something to put in the console and if i ever forget it i can just re-enable it in the settings now finishing this update off they did add something that i think that a lot of people will appreciate over time which is the ability to pick up weapons in the buy zone without actually being able to reach them by pressing the e key for those of you guys who are confused on screen i'm showing you now exactly what i mean so basically if a weapon is dropped in the buy zone of course during freeze time you could just pick it up you don't need to be able to reach it you don't even need to be able to see it it'll be in the bottom of the buy menu you could see it and just pick it up it'll be in your inventory now i find this to be very very useful given the map that they just reintroduced into the competitive map pool of course that map is dust too because those spawns and t spawn are spread out quite a bit so what could possibly happen is you have somebody who has the best b spawn who needs to drop the person who has the best a spawn now in csgo so what you would have to do is you'd have to juggle that gun over and hope that you had spawns that could pass it over and then sometimes you wouldn't get it and then that guy they would just have to waste his spawn but now you don't have to do that because you can just pick it up by using the buy menu i really do like that change another sneaky thing that they also added at the top of the buy menu on the right side is the money that you will have next round assuming that you don't get any kills because some people aren't good at math including myself so i will appreciate that and speaking of kills and kill rewards they did do a couple of slight changes to the kill rewards we already covered the zeus because now you get a hundred dollars per kill with the zeus but they did actually nerf the xm everybody's been asking for an xm nerf for quite some time and it seems valve are listening but they have not made any stat adjustments to the gun instead they took the kill reward from nine hundred dollars yes that's right nine hundred dollars you used to get per kill with the xm and now it's only six hundred which of course i think is going to be really beneficial in the long run and they also changed the cz 75 kill reward from 100 back up to 300 like all the other pistols of course i don't think that the kill reward is the reason people aren't using the cz but it will be interesting to see how a change like that will change the meta going forward and i'm very excited overall i think this update was a pretty big w all around i can't think of anything so far that i don't like there is a couple of bugs with left-handed i'm assuming they'll probably be fixed 
maybe even by the time this video comes out. For example, the Molotov, for some reason, doesn't go in your left hand, but everything else does. So I'm assuming that that will be fixed in no time. But yeah, overall, I'm a really big fan of this update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure you guys sub to the channel because I'm obviously going to be covering all of the new changes that happen throughout the course of CS2's lifespan, as well as teaching you some important Dust 2 nades because, well, I guess we need to know that now. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like the video and I hopefully will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and stickers are on sale. Yippee!